darkness gathers, history threatens to repeat itself again. To safeguard a world of swords, monsters, and magic, the kingdom's most promising adventurers will be summoned to battle. Humans and dragons must form a binding pact once more. Luckily, even the seventh in line to the throne has the blood of a dragon flowing through his veins. Humans and dragons, packed bound once more. Dragalia lost. Centuries have passed since the days of the first Pact Bound. So much has changed. Now, the time has come to rekindle this age-old alliance. This forest is just one small corner of a much larger world. The Kingdom of Alberia, where humans and dragons once lived together in harmony. History tells us that the kingdom's founding coincided with the institution of a holy fragment known as a sacred shard. Its power has long protected Alberia from the evil influence of monsters. Yet for some reason, people say the shard's power has begun to fade. To replace the shard and stave off the ever-rising threat of monsters, the world will need a new source of hope. Oh, great dragon of the forest. If you can hear my voice, then heed my call. Grant me the Packstone's power. This young man is an Alberian prince. Though he may never become a king, he's been tasked with a mission of great importance. He must find a way to ensure that the Sacred Shard's magic will keep his kingdom safe. However, he cannot protect Alberia alone. It is a great honor to bond with the dragon, Midgard Sormer, who once held a pact with the founder of Alberia. Still, our prince needs a proper party at his side. This is an action RPG, after all. Before charging into battle, it's best to build an effective party. Let's see. Yes, they'll do. They look ready. Are you? This fast-paced RPG gives you direct control over your party when fighting and exploring. So be careful, play with fire, and you get burned. You never know where monsters have set up traps. And they're always looking for a fight. Give them what they're asking for, and don't let up. As you wage your assault, you'll create a chance to let loose a special ability. This one's called Blazing Serpent. You may have some flashy moves, but overconfidence will get you surrounded. It's never dishonorable to dodge when needed. You must know when to strike and when to take a hike. Working together with your allies will be important when executing your strategies in battle. And speaking of battles, the beast who controls this territory lies in wait. It's boss time. It may look like an overgrown pup, but this monster is no simple-minded beast. It won't wait its turn. The outcome of this fight rests in your fingertips. Try circling around behind. The boss is quickly becoming inflamed with rage. Yes, This is bad. Don't hold back. If you let up now, you're a goner for sure. Yes. Your opponent isn't going anywhere. Right. Use this opening to put it down for good. Yes. Blazing circle. We did it. Nice work, everyone. Your party of adventurers has done well. This but there are forces stronger than your will alone. The monsters ahead are an unbelievably tough lot. You'd have everything to fear were it not for the might of dragons. He talks a good game, but even Mr. Seventh in line has much to learn of his pact and his heritage. The Alberian royal family knows well the dragon blood within their veins. 
if a descendant enters a pact with a dragon. Its mighty form and powers will be yours to command. Shapeshifting does have its benefits. And it's well worth the cost. The crystals acquired by slaying monsters grant the ability to transform into a dragon. You can also get them by breaking dragon obelisks. Once you've gleaned the power you need from these crystals, it's shapeshifting time. The dragon's pulse quickens. Only those who have entered a pact with a dragon can wield such dragon. sublime, destructive power. The dragons of Alberia couldn't care less about your royal blood unless you prove yourself in battle. An adventurer who bonds with many dragons wields unimaginable strength. The companions you meet on your journey can also shapeshift into dragons. They have much to learn as well, and plenty of opportunities for experience. Each dragon offers something different in battle, and you'll need all the help you can get. Throughout your journey, you'll encounter many adventurers. Each one has their own stake in the game, and after joining your party, they'll have your back till the very end. These adventurers can be divided into groups. Some will excel at attacking, others will be gifted healers. There are four types in all. Also, your companion's elemental properties affect each other in different ways. For example, those who bring the fire are strong against wind and weakened by water. Their weapons have distinct characteristics as well. Take these factors into account when forming your party and be strategic with your choices before heading into battle. If your future promises water, then call upon a companion with a wind elemental attribute. Leave the cleaning to me! All right, it's working! But many quests aren't so simple. Thankfully, there are more than 60 adventurers to meet and welcome onto your party. Each one has a chance to shine in a variety of combat situations. As impressive as they are, your companions are not your only means of getting stronger. It's best to be prepared for the worst. Monsters possess a ferocious appetite for power. Just like you, they'll continue to grow stronger. You'll have to double your efforts to keep up. And fortunately, there are four ways to gain strength. You aren't relegated to merely grinding for experience points. Although, they certainly do come in handy. You can also get stronger by equipping superior weaponry. That's not the only benefit you have to look forward to. Changing weapons also changes your fighting style. Not to mention, there are ways to strengthen the weapons themselves. Each adventurer also has something called a mana circle. This magical structure provides a range of benefits. You can use it to strengthen attack power and skills or acquire new abilities. That finally brings us to the holy castle known as the Halidom. It's your own personal camp where mines can be built to produce gold and altars can be erected to enhance abilities. Adventurers have many ways to toughen up, so take advantage, or your foes will gain an edge on you. Legend has it that great power will come to those who pursue the magical art of summoning. Summoning can grant you new companions, mighty dragons, and special items. It's rather simple, but deceptively deep. First off, you can summon a wide variety of adventurers with varied attributes. I hope I can be of some help. 
I won't let you down. Avail yourself of my strength as you see fit. These gold stars are worth more than brownie points. Star counts indicate the caliber of those who are summoned. If you happen to summon two of the same character, you're not out of luck. In that case, you'll acquire Eldwater instead. It's good stuff. You want as much of it as you can get your hands on. By collecting Eldwater, you can increase the number of stars your companions possess by promoting them. But enough about them. We have dragons to summon. This sacred rite is the best way to attain the might of Alviria's many distinct dragons. There's another special item you need to know about. They're known as worm prints, and they embody memories of the world. Think of them as an amulet or talisman, something like that. Depending on how much you've leveled it, a worm print can enhance an adventurer. It's well worth your time, even if you are a prince. This sacred rite is only possible in the presence of Wormite or Diamantium. You never know what you'll get. It feels great to score something new. Adventuring is even more fun if you team up with up to three other players. Use stamps to communicate and work together to defeat any monsters that dare challenge you. Multiplayer is an option for every single quest in the game. Here, you'll find players itching to join your cause. You can also create your own room and invite over other players. A variety of special events hold even greater rewards and risks. The royal family. They've shown their true colors. And now they stand between the seventh in line to the throne and the heroic destiny he has sworn to fulfill at any cost. He knows one sister, the Princess Ethia, would never betray him, if only their future was so certain. Level up your fighters, bond them with dragons, and unleash their power on the world. Humans and dragons, Pact bound once more. Dragalia lost. 